So my name is Brian Overshiner and I am a radiation therapist here at IU Health. Started in 2000 and probably since about 2015 I've been concentrating primarily on 3D printing for medical uh, applications starting with like radiation therapy devices for our cancer patients. So as I started this whole journey of trying to build a 3D lab Obviously this equipment's expensive and we needed support, needed space, and I can't say enough good things about my management here. They supported my idea from the very start. They would allow me time in clinic to develop this and keep working on it. I reached out to the CTSI and was very fortunate to be able to win a grant from them to support buying all these 3D printers and equipment and allow us the ability to develop this technology for IU Health. Because we're really trying to do what the epitome of the CTSI is, is translate science into the clinic and that's what I was trying to do with 3D printing and so now we do anything from surgical modeling to repairing equipment all using 3D printing. To date we've had quite a few success stories for radiation therapy products. We've treated 62 patients all of which benefit from custom 3D bolus. We've done about six surgery cases so far for the IU Health surgeons and that helped speed up their surgery times in some cases by as much as a couple hours. We just started working with the dental school where we're going to be doing kind of surgical cut guides and drill cut guides for their facial surgeries as well so we're excited about those possibilities and helping them kind of save time. But we can print the first prototype, we can hand that off to the doctor, they can test it, they can take it back to the clinic, give us feedback. We have it digitally made, we can make a few adjustments, reprint it again. We can provide a much quicker service than you know a third party would do. Some of the most important devices that we've done lately are custom 3D printed surgical models of the patient's own anatomy. So basically we can get a CT scan or an MRI scan of the patient and then we can use specialized software to segment those models and 3D print them. And then these models we deliver to the doctor and the doctor can then sit down with the family, the patient, discuss their case live in front of them and the patient can hold an actual model representation of their own body. So it's a really good way for helping patients understand their condition, what's wrong with them and how we're going to fix them. Besides that, those models can then be used for training purposes, so we can give those models to residents and staff to go train in procedures and do mock-up procedures, hopefully eliminate possible complications that may arise when the surgery happens. So our whole goal in the end is to shorten surgery times and give better patient outcomes from offering these models. And this whole idea, this whole lab was born out of the desire to just make people's treatment better. If there's a better way of delivering care, I felt like we should be doing that as an organization. Sky is the limit with 3D printing in healthcare. One of the goals long term of our lab is to start 3D printing implants, so implantable materials that can go into the body long term. As we get more efficient and more doctors come on board, I think it'll help the whole process for the hospital run more efficiently with less cost and ultimately better outcomes for the the patients.